As war rages on in Ukraine and as Kyiv prepares for a spring counteroffensive, comments from China's ambassador to France have prompted outrage across Europe. Appearing on the French news channel LCI, Lu Shea refused to say if annexed Crimea was in fact part of Ukraine, then went on to say that countries that emerged after the fall of the Soviet Union, quote, don't have effective status under international law because there is not an international agreement confirming their status as sovereign nations. The comments cast doubt not just on Ukraine, but all former Soviet republics, which emerged as independent nations after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991. On Monday, leaders from the EU's three Baltic nations, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, summoned China's envoys to explain the remarks. To ask for clarification, has Chinese uh, position changed? Uh, on, the, on the independence and to remind him that uh, we are not post-Soviet countries, we are the countries that were illegally occupied by Soviet Union. The EU's top foreign policy official, Joseph Borrell, called the Chinese envoy's remarks unacceptable and said the bloc also wanted an explanation. On Monday, Beijing's foreign ministry sought to diffuse the controversy, walking back the ambassador's comments. China's position is unchanged. China respects the sovereignty status of the former Soviet Union countries after the Soviet Union dissolution. This isn't the first time Liu has sparked controversy. In 2021, he started a spat on social media with a French researcher calling him a little thug and a troll. He's also lashed out at a group of French lawmakers considering a trip to Taiwan, which China considers part of its own territory. And we have a further uh, clarification.